Okay, so I've already pre-rooted my LG Optimus C from Cricut uh, via Ginger Break. Uh, you can find that on Force Share or on the Marketplace, however you find it. Um, get that one-click method, root your phone, let it reboot, whatever, whatever. And then, now we're going to go into Andro Zip. It's a file manager that I prefer to use. Okay and I'm going to scroll down to okay LG Optimus C folder click on that and then click on recovery this is where I have flash image GUI APK that is the most easiest way to flash a custom recovery you have to have a custom recovery in order to get CM7 to run on your phone so install see you see that that's the name of it right there flash image GUI the lightning bolts we're gonna install that okay application installed now we're gonna open it okay your disclaimer tells you that you're probably not going to blow up your phone you just agree to that allow super user permission okay check your more recent version take about four seconds and we'll go later on the update now it comes to an option for your for a kernel or a recovery you're going to make sure you click on recovery and then you're going to check both boxes to clear your your data your uh, your cache your caches whatever you want to call it I'll just call it cache okay and then you're gonna go to browse and then you go down to wherever you stored it preferably on the root of your SD card not in a folder see it right there recovery image click that and then you go here to flash image then it says please confirm yes and as you see it's doing what it does and then it says reboot and then you reboot As you see so far I did not destroy my phone it is a cricket phone and you see that it's working so far no problems okay now the phone has restarted and now we're gonna power down once again this time after we power down we're gonna boot up into recovery so give it a second for it to turn off okay okay you have to push home power down on the value I mean push volume down home in the power button at the same time till the screen goes blank and let go give it a second there you go now you're in recovery okay and then of course you're gonna wipe your data factory reset well first I take that back you're not gonna do that you're gonna make a backup but since I've already made a backup I'm gonna go ahead and wipe so no you don't want to wait another three minutes okay and then you gotta wipe your cash cache whatever whatever you don't have to know these words in order to do these things and uh... i'm not sure if 
you have to but I always go into advanced and then wipe my Dalvik cache whatever that is I know most people say do it some people say don't do it I'll do it okay after you've done that push the back arrow scroll down to install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and then you go to your CM7 LG um, file CM7 and you install it and you just give it a second for it to make it do what it do By the way, this is being recorded on my Verizon LG Fastinet, which is fully flashed to Cricut Wireless, which is running Evil Fascination Custom ROM. Well, it's not mine anymore. It's my wife's. But yeah. Okay, install complete from SD card. Now we go back up. We push the back key. And we reboot system now. And watch your LG become something more than just a cricket phone. Something more like better cricket phone and by the way for anybody that's wondering it does not mess up your your data as far as internet goes it comes with an MMS package I guess for your picture messages I haven't had to send any lately so I'm not sure if I needed to use it or not but just for all intents and purposes